Hello and welcome back students. I am your English grammar digital mentor and here I am to teach you chapter number 3 that is type of sentences. Let's start. At first let's read the starter same as we go for starter while having lunch or dinner. Look at the picture and frame one sentence for each. Now you can see you have given so many pictures. The first one is as Arjun is flying a kite. In this picture, you can clearly see that Arjun having rope of the kite and he is flying it. So, at the next, you can see gardener is watering the plant. Next, teacher is teaching students. Two girls are dancing. That is a beautiful doll. Two girls are dancing. We know that a sentence is a group of words that makes complete sense. There are four kinds of sentences, statements, questions, integrative and exclamations. The students, did you know? We may greet someone, ask question, make a required or an offer, accept an offer, give advice, etc. using statements, questions, imperatives and exclamations. Now let's move to part A. Some Sentences are of different types. Read the following sentences. India is our country. Mango is a fruit. Third, my uncle has a new bike. Next, the above sentences gives us information. Next, these are statement. A sentence that give information, facts or ideas is called statements. So, students, did you know a statement ends with a full stop? Now, let's move to part B. Read the following sentences. What is your name? Second, where do you live? And the third, which is your house? The above sentences ask question. These are interrogative sentences. A sentence that asks a question is called an interrogative sentence. Did you know interrogative sentences ends with a question mark? Next, let's move to part C. Write S for statement and Q for interrogative sentences. And I assure and I know you have already done it in your previous classes. So, number one, I like stories. That's a statement. Next, what is your father's name? That's a question. Next, eagle is a bird. At first, we have given I like stories. We will write S because we can clearly see it has full stop and capital letters starting with. And we can see at the beginning, it starts with a capital letter and the sounds are statements. So, that's a statement and we will write S. Next, what is your father's name? That is seeming a question. That is, we are asking somebody that what is your father's name? So, here we will write Q. Next, eagle is a bird. That's a statement. So, we will write S. Where is your father? That's a question. So, we will write Q. Next, we have Sachin. Sachin is a creator. Pongal is a festival. That's a statement. We will write S. Nachin is a cricketer. It's also a statement. So, we will write S. Why are you crying? That's a question. So, we will put Q for that. Next, she is a singer. And we will write S for that because it's a statement. You are a doctor. So, we will write S. Next, which book is yours? So, we will put question mark. Next, let's move to part D. Put a full stop or a question mark at the end of the following sentences. Now, let's do that. What is the name of your school? This sounds as a question. So, we will put question mark here. Next, I study in class 3. That sounds as a statement. So, we will put full stop. Next, he is a teacher. We will put full stop. Why are you angry? We are asking somebody. So, there would be question mark. Next, Mona is riding her bicycle. That here would be full stop. Next, we have she does her homework daily. So, we will write full stop. When is your birthday? So, we will put question mark. These mangoes are ripe. So, we will put full stop. Next, we have Gauri is a beautiful girl. So, we will put full stop. Next, now read the following sentences. First, 
कम हेयर सेकेंड प्लीज मेक अ कप ऑफ टी फॉर मी कैन यू प्लीज ओके डू नॉट गो देयर नेक्स्ट दीज सेंटेंसेस गिव अडर अ रिक्वेस्ट और एन एडवाइस सो सच सेंटेंसेस आर कॉल्ड इम्परेटिव सेंटेंसेस a sentence that gives a comment a request or an advice is called an imperative sentence so students did you know a sentence a command orders something a request politely tells someone to do something and here an imperative sentence ends with full stop because it's also like a statement like you are requesting somebody you are advising somebody you are asking for something or you are ordering for something so we will put full stop let's move forward to the part e now read the following sentences hooray we have won the match what a great idea oh oh be careful these sentences express a strong feeling or emotions these sentence these sentences show surprise fear excitement or joy or joy these sentences end with an exclamation mark such sentences are called exclamatory sentences so students we saw ki hum statements or imperative sentences ke liye full stop lagayenge question pooch rahe hain to hum uske liye question mark lagayenge aur jab bhi hum apne emotions ko express kar rahe hain hum wahan pe exclamatory mark ka use karenge let's move forward a sentence that indicate a strong feeling like surprise fear excitement joy is called an exclamatory sentences now let's move to part g write i for imperative sentences and e for exclamatory sentences let's go it is seeming an interesting question so don't don't lean out of the window of course we are giving someone order that don't do that or a kind of advice so we will use exclamatory mark first don't lean out of the window you can see there is a full stop so we will write i next hi how are you so here we can see exclamatory mark after hi so we will write e do not tell a lie we will write i because it's seeming because it is an imperative sentence i have hurt my foot what a beautiful dress you are wearing so that's a here you can see someone is expressing its strong emotions so we will write exclamation next do not make a noise we are ordering someone so we will write i ah uh, i have hurt my foot so we will write exclamatory mark here next give me a cup of tea we, we are requesting someone or, or asking for a coffee so we will write e bravo he has played a nice shot and here we will also write i how beautiful the scenery and also we will write i do not play on the road let's do part f let's do part g write i for imperative sentences and e for exclamatory sentences the first don't lean out of the window we are ordering somebody so there is so there we will write i because it's an imperative sentence next hi how are you we are welcoming someone or asking someone that how is she or he so that's a exclamatory sentence so we will put e do not tell a lie there would be full stop there is full stop and also we are giving a command also we are giving a command so here will be i next what a beautiful dress you are wearing there would be exclamatory sentence there would be exclamatory mark next do not make a noise so we will write i here next uh, i have hurt my foot for this you will write exclamatory mark for next give me a cup of coffee you are asking or requesting so we will put i next bravo he has played a nice shot for that we will put exclamatory mark next how beautiful is the scenery now again we are expressing ourselves or getting happy by watching the scenery and we are adoring it so for that we will put exclamation because we are putting our strong emotion 
Next, do not play on the road. That's a command or that's an order. So for that, we will put I. Students, did you know? So little exclamation mark is an exclamatory sentence. Use exclamatory mark for an exclamatory sentence and you know exclamatory mark look like this a line and then dot let's move to the part h take the correct option to say the kinds of sentences how amazing this car is so we are expressing ourselves so that is exclamatory and also you can see the mark so it's very obvious that that is a exclamatory sentence next that is an exclamatory sentence so you will take it at so you will tick at exclamatory. Next, read your book carefully. I am asking you to read your book carefully. So that's an imperative sentence. So you have to tick at B. Next, what is your favorite color? I am asking you. That's a question. So we will put. So here you can also see there is a question mark. So it's very obvious that we will tick at interrogative. Next bird fly in the sky that's a normal statement so we will put ticket statement when do you go to school i am asking you a question when do you go to school so that's an interrogative sentence and for that we will tick at interrogative and also you can see the question mark wow what a lovely picture for that you will tick at exclamatory because we are expressing ourselves Next, my mother has an umbrella. That's a normal statement we are telling about our mother. So, we will take that statement. Next, Aman is my best friend. That is also a statement. So, we will take that statement. We have an exciting activity. So, so, let me explain you and you have to do this by yourself. Change this sentence as in the example, just example mein likh raha hai, waisa hi aapko in sentences ko change karna hai, it's very obvious. So students, that has been done by you only. It's time for Tata Bye Bye. I'll meet you in the next session with an interesting chapter. Until then, don't forget to revise. Thank you so much.